Hello friends, today we will discuss another important topic, Spina Bifida. Overview Preparation time is 3 minutes. Try to read the scenario again and again to understand it well. Examination and discussion purpose, time given 8 minutes. Warning bell will be given at 6 minutes. Total marks allotted 8. Scenario It is a neural tube defect. Weakness or total paralysis of legs could be present. Bowel incontinence or urinary incontinence could be associated. Loss of skin sensation in legs or bottom could lead to different accidental injury because child is unable to feel hot or cold. Hydrocephalus could be present. There could be normal IQ or mental retardation. Introduction Greet before you start. Introduce yourself and define your role and responsibility. Wash your hand with sanitizer. Take COVID precautions. Ask for consent for examination and exposure. Make rapport by asking short question. What is your name? Who is your favorite sports star? Explain what you are going to do before you start. Look for any dysmorphism. There could be any wasting of muscle or contracture. Look for any distress, any dizzy stigmata and measure height, weight and more importantly, head circumference. Look at the surrounding, look for any wheelchair, any urine pot, etc. And drugs like baclofen, clonidine used as muscle relaxants. Then check gait. Extremely important it is for the examination. Read the normal walk cycle. Look for any spastic gait. Then start motor system examination. Start with inspection. Look for any wasting or contracture. Tone should be checked. If it is increased, look for any clonus. Power should be checked. Lower limb muscles may get wasted. Then check the reflex. Reflexes are superficial and deep. For superficial reflex, you need to check the plantar reflex. This case, in this case, it should be extensor. And deep tender reflex, bicep, tricep jerk, supinator, ankle and knee jerk to be done. Then check the sensory. Remember the dermatomal distribution. Perform the sensory system if you have been asked. Otherwise, just mention while doing the examination. Remember, spinothalamic tract, the anterolateral spinothalamic tract responsible for the nociception, that is the pain sensation, thermal sensation and non-discriminative touch. Whereas, posterior column is responsible for fine touch, vibration sense, joint sense and two-point discrimination. Then, do the rest of the CNS examination by doing cranial nerve examination do brief cranial nerve examination check the cerebellar signs if it is present or not and ask for blood bubble involvement examination of the higher function check memory and gentle intelligence attention span gross or fine motor coordination and problem solving abilities in order to finish examination, you need to measure head circumference. If it is not earlier, check back for the spinal examination as well as look for any scar present or not. Look for any shunt. Skin for look for skin for any injury as it is due to the sensory deficit. And look for and do the fundoscopy. Check shoe, look for any involuntary movements and check primitive reflex if you have been given a younger child patient and check the vitals. Key points, 
try to assess what type of disability child is having try to assess where is the lesion investigation ultrasound scan ct mri management is always multidisciplinary surgical physiotherapy occupational therapy thank you